An emergency population warning is a method whereby local, regional, or national authorities can contact members of the public en masse to warn them of an impending emergency. These warnings may be necessary for a number of reasons, including many local areas use emergency population warnings to advise of prison escapes, abducted children, emergency telephone number outages, and other events. In order to develop an effective emergency warning system, certain things are required. Early warning system is the term that the International Early Warning Program coordinated by the United Nations uses for all systems that are used to send emergency population warnings. The United Nations Development Program uses the Send Word Now Emergency Notification System to alert its worldwide staff when an urgent situation arises. The standard emergency warning signal was originally adopted by the Bureau of Meteorology in the 1970s for tropical cyclone warnings. It became a standard national emergency warning signal in 1995. It can be broadcast on radio, television, automated telephone calls and in some places by public address systems in the event of bushfire, flood, cyclone, tsunami, earthquake or terrorist attack. On June 11, 2009, the Canadian Radio Television and Telecommunications Commission approved a proposal by Pelmarex, owners of the Weather Network and Meteor Media, to receive must-carry status for the channels, in exchange for developing a national aggregator and distributor of localized emergency alert messages compliant with the common alerting protocol. The alert system, known as Alert Ready, built on a back-end known as the National Alert Aggregation and Dissemination System, was first established in 2010, and further expanded as a result of consultation with government officials, broadcasters, and the CRTC. In August 2014, the CRTC ruled that all television stations, radio stations, and broadcast distribution undertakings had to begin mandatory carriage of local alerts relayed. Through NARD by March 31, 2015, the province of Alberta had its own system called the Emergency Public Warning System. The EPWS was put into place after a major tornado swept through the city of Edmonton in 1987, killing 27 and causing millions of dollars in damage. Unlike the American ACAS, however, broadcast of the EPWS was not mandatory on radio and television stations. It was broadcast on the CKUA radio network and was televised on CTV2 Alberta and other participating stations. EPWS warnings could be initiated by municipal police and fire departments. The provincial government, county authorities, tribal government agencies, Environment Canada, and the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. CKUA developed and maintained the EPWS until January 2010 when it lost a bid to modernize the system to an outside vendor. In June 2011, an updated version of the system known as Alberta Emergency Alert was introduced, which emphasized multi-platform availability of alerts and advisories on digital platforms, such as online and through a mobile app. Participation in AEA is now considered mandatory under the CRTC's National Public Alerting Mandate. In France, the population warning is made via air raid siren. This network is called the Risseau National Delete. The system is inherited from the air raid siren network developed before World War II. It consists of about 4,500 electronic or electromechanical sirens placed all over France. In some cases, the warning signal may be played by a mobile system installed on the fire department's vehicles. The warning signal is described by Decret of March 23, 2007. It consists in a modulated sound going up and down during the first minute. And repeated three times. The end of alert is a continuous signal lasting 30 seconds. The system is tested every month. The first Wednesday at 11.45 in the north. 12.00 in the center. And at 12.15 in the south. For tests. The modulated signal is played only once. When the warning signal sounds, people are expected to remain at home or the building they are in and listen to further instructions on radio via France Info, France Inter, or local stations. Instructions may also be announced by police or fire department vehicles. 
The J Alert system launched in 2007 aims to allow government officials to address the population directly via loudspeakers. It aims to cover earthquake, tsunami, volcano, and military emergencies. The earthquake early warning system is operated by the Japan Meteorological Agency. It is capable of delivering warnings a few seconds before S waves can propagate to distant locations. Warnings are broadcast by radio and television stations and compatible equipment can automatically turn on when receiving a message. EEW capability is also required for all domestic cell phones sold after 2007. JMA also issues advisories regarding tropical cyclones in the Western Pacific Ocean. Many countries in South America have a mechanism called Cadena Nacional. It